Whatever happened to 16-year-old Reuben Gray from Britain's Got Talent? How old is he now? Is he still dating the girl in the audience that he wrote his audition song for? All of this and more on this segment of What's Hot. Hey guys, it's Corey, and today we're catching up with the viral teen singer Reuben Gray. Let's see what he's done since his BGT audition and what he's up to right now. Let's get right into it. Reuben Gray was only 16 years old when he auditioned for Britain's Got Talent in 2017. He immediately stunned the audience with his heartfelt original song, Lifeline. I wanna live my life with you. So throw me, throw me a lifeline, baby. His original song was so special because he admitted that it was written as an apology to his ex girlfriend. I didn't really treat right. And uh, it's, it's an apology, really. Wow. So did you dump her? Sorry. No. <laughs> I don't know. No, uh, she dumped me. Ruben received great notes from both Simon Cowell and David Williams during his audition. Come on and be authentic, be original, take risks. I really, really like the song. You've got a talent. You really have. Thank you very much. So he then continued on to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, he performed yet another original song, also written for his girlfriend. I will be waiting. Just get another look at your love. The judges once again gave him great reviews, but they shared that they didn't like this song as much as the other one. I like you, I didn't like the song. <laughs> Ruben was then eliminated from the competition, but after the semifinals, he never gave up as a singer. He went straight to the studio and began writing songs and recording them. Soon after BGT, he released his first single titled Till the Lights Go Out. Since the show, he's released 10 singles in total. But what's the point trying to be cool just to make you think you are me? What is Ruben Gray up to in 2022? Ruben Gray is still a singer, but he looks pretty different than he did when he was on BGT. At 21 years old, Ruben has a far more edgy look. I was lost when I met you and I've been lost since I left you. He definitely went through a bit of a style evolution and I'm totally here for the pop punk vibes. 21st century vampire I'm a 21st century vampire Some would compare his new look to Shawn Mendes, so let's take a look at it. First, we have all black outfits. Suit coats, on stage outfits, and last but certainly not least, I don't think I need to say anything else. Sometimes I feel like giving up, but I just can't. It isn't in my blood. When Ruben premiered his new style, he also began shifting his genre of music. These days, he's seen with an electric guitar more than an acoustic. He originally sang heartfelt acoustic songs, but he's now venturing into the rock genre. She's there we are again on that little town street. You almost ran the red cause you were looking over me. Ruben has shared that the vibe is similar to music by artists like Machine Gun Kelly. Five Seconds of Summer, Panic at the Disco, All Time Low, and way more. If you want to hear it for yourself, check out his new song, Cute AF. Honestly, this does remind me of a Five Seconds of Summer song. All my words don't mean a thing. Don't be on not listening when I say, baby, you are cute as fuck. His first single to release this year is called No Hard Feelings by Ruben, Main Stage Cartel, and Vise, featuring a whole lot of other singers. Ruben shared that he was in the studio a lot in 2021, so it seems like other music is also on the way. When Ruben wasn't in the studio, he was seen performing around the United Kingdom. He advertises these shows on his Instagram, and it seems like a lot of them were sold out. 
On top of performing, Ruben has shared that he has been writing music for other artists as well. Since then, I've been writing for people all the way around the world, and I've been playing around the world, like Norway, Rome, LA, Berlin, London, wherever you can think. In 2021, Ruben released four singles that got him on multiple Apple Music playlists, including Alternative Pop, New Alternative, and New Alternative Pop playlists. He was also featured on Spotify's New Music Friday playlist and even more. I'm on New Music Friday UK. Oh, you're not. I'm on fucking New Music Friday UK. Come I'm on New Music Friday, bro. While Ruben's success mostly comes from Britain's Got Talent, we have to acknowledge that this singer has become pretty popular on TikTok. Fool me out the train. In December 2020, Ruben posted a TikTok explaining how he re-recorded his BGT audition song, Lifeline. It was only fitting that this was the video that went viral for him. We produced it in this lovely studio in the basement of my house. And we started with some pianos. Sound a bit like this. You know, how it goes. Say that I'm really sorry. While this video probably was only intended to bring attention to the fact that he released the song to streaming, it did way more than that. Right now, Ruben has more than 89,800 followers on TikTok. On his TikTok, he creates a variety of content, including videos with his twin sister, turning comments into rock songs. So happy never after to me and you. Sharing the stories behind his songs and even more. Recently, Ruben showed off more of his personal life by sharing his experience of hashtag van life. Well, not really. Hey, so, I'm in a van. And I know lots of you to be asking, why? Why are you in a van, Ruben? For the holidays, he traveled from London to Dublin to visit his family, but ended up with a positive COVID test. So his family had him quarantine in a van instead of traveling back to London. So far, it's bloody awesome. It means I'm in complete isolation. Don't get to see anyone, which is great because I'm not sociable whatsoever. He shared a few videos in the van, but nothing that could seriously be considered hashtag van life. I get to spend the entire of Christmas in it. It's gonna be bloody brilliant. Now I know what you're all wondering, is he still dating the girl he wrote Lifeline about? Drum roll, please. No. On Valentine's Day, he confirmed that he's 100% single. Single. Ladies, do with that what you will. I also do not have a date for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. That could explain the shift in his music. In 2022, he claims that he's writing music that isn't as cheesy as Lifeline, but you know, he still has his same beautiful voice, so I think it's okay. We're beautiful, mass lighting star cross lovers. That little black dress gonna get in trouble. What do you guys think about Ruben's new look? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms and make sure to check out our website, talentrecap.com. If you guys wanna follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar on Instagram, and now you know what's hot. Hey. What are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit the subscribe button down below and then we can talk.